but uh, we just clap our hands.
One more thing, Lord, stir us up so that we don't become too self-satisfied and forget to keep asking and seeking and knocking. We pray all this in the name of the one who asks for the voiceless, who seeks out the lost, who stands at the door and knock. Come on in, Lord Jesus. Our story is empty. We have come to be filled. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. We pray all this in the name of the one who is the bread of life and the one who calms the raging sea. All God's children believe. Say amen. 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 We will have a praise and worship by Brother Stan Lewis. Please just give him a hand clap of praise. Oh, somebody touch me.
country. This may be your first time visiting with us, but you have worked with us before. I am Deacon CJ, Deacon Ministry Chair. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you all to the house of the Lord today. We are so excited to worship together and share the love of Jesus. We are so delighted that you have joined us on this second Sunday in June. We thank those in the sanctuary, those who have chosen and finally not Robert to join us in worship via social media. We are the only African American Baptist church in the city of West Orange, located at 174 South Valley Road. Our 2024 theme, Living Our Best Life in Christ. Scripture, Matthew 22, verses 33 to 39. Just a few reminders. Please join us every Monday evening for our prayer call at 6 o'clock p.m. and every Tuesday for Bible study at 7. Our thought for the week from Latoya Monique. In happy moments, pray God. In difficult moments, seek God. In quiet moments, trust God. In every moment, thank God. As we prepare to look to the Lord, we will be singing, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 to 18, the word of God reads, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. God promises us his word that he hears every word that we pray for him. Like a good parent, be waiting, ready, and willing to listen to our worries, concerns, and needs. Whether we are seeking forgiveness, strength, or healing, prayer provides a channel to communicate with God and for supernatural strength and power. And we know there's a little talk of Jesus makes it right.
is with this thanksgiving that we ask for our needs. Some of us need healing. Some of us need hope. Some of us need strengthening. Help us to obey, obey your word and seek your face. Father God, you know us better than we know ourselves. So we ask for your forgiveness when we don't do things according to your will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of us. You, Lord, are our Alpha and Omega, our light in the darkness, our all in all. Holy is your name, Lord. Bless us, Father God, one by one, individually and collectively. Lord, have mercy on our children and all children around the world. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Help them to know you and rely on you, Lord. Touch and console the many that are grieving, incarcerated, in hospitals, nursing homes, and definitely those that simply don't know you. Continue to bless and keep our mothers of me, Mother Davis, Mother Black, and Anne not forgetting the people on our sick and child. Father God, bless our pastor and our lady. You know the desires of their heart and what they stand for you know. Bless their entire family and deeply black and his family. And as to near and his campus church, we ask for blessings, guidance, and strength. Let your will be done. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and all that you will do. We love you. We praise this prayer in the master's name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.
hear these words. Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show love to thousands, but bring the punishment for the parents' sins into the laps of their children after them. Great and mighty God, whose name is the Lord Almighty, great are your purposes and mighty are your deeds. Your eyes are open to the ways of all mankind. You reward each person according to their conduct and as their deeds deserve. You perform signs and wonders in Egypt and have continued them to this day in Israel and among all mankind and have gained a renown that is still yours. You brought your people Israel out of Egypt with signs and wonders by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with great terror. You gave them this land you have sworn to their ancestors, a land flowing with milk and honey. This is the word of God for the people of God. To God be the glory. You may be seated in his presence. The grass withers and the flowers fall. But the word of our God endures forever. Let us pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word, to bless your people, to empower them with what you are willing to bless them with. Hide me now and make yourself more evident let the words which are shared be your words, not mine. Let your presence be known. Make someone wise for salvation through your son, Jesus Christ. For truly, this is all about you and not about us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The 17th verse of this particular text is a verse that I want to spend some time with. Again, it reads as follows. Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. So I come this morning to talk about. Nothing is too hard for God. All right. As we sit here, please let the brakes off. Don't put the brakes off. Repeat after me. Nothing, Nothing is too hard, is too hard for, God. for God. I love me at Fellowship Baptist Church. Come on, man. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Mother Black, in less than two years, I have learned and drawn inspiration from our story, the Nia story. As our church clerk, Sister Pat Sessions has chronicled, and so begins the story of me, yeah. a people of purpose, <laughs> having the ability to purposely wait on the Lord for direction then find the new strength which enables us to rise above the noise and clamor and soar to higher heights to tell of his excellent goodness in new and exciting ways. Yes, we are a people of purpose. Yes, we are a people of faith who have repeatedly found renewed strength particularly in the midst of overwhelming odds. So now is the time. Now is to remember we've come a long way, a mighty long way. 
We've come a long way. Yeah. A mighty long way. Come on now. We've been in the valley. Yes, we have. And we prayed night and day. Come yes. on now. We've been in the valley. Yeah. And we prayed night and day. Yeah. And I know the Lord has made a way. Yeah. We've been in the trials each and every day. We've had hard trials. Each and every day, but I know the Lord has made a way. We've come a long way, a mighty long way. Now the time to remember from the home of Deacon and Deaconess House to St. John's Masonic Lodge, from Masonic Lodge to 30th North Clinton Street. To Patrick Healy Middle School in East Orange. Then to 506 510 Linden Place in Orange. Yes. We've come a long way. Yes. A mighty long way. Mighty, mighty, mighty. And as we refresh our memories, we are so reminded, as our church clerk would say from Isaiah 40 31, they that wait. Upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall not with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes, we have pursued all kinds of properties in Essex and Union counties since 2006 to have a permanent place of worship but have been repeatedly rejected. We have been denied. Yeah. We have been turned down. Yes. We have been dismissed. <laughs> but the story does not end in 2012. Yeah. In 2013, yeah. began the initial phase of acquiring 174 South Valley Road in West Orange by our present home. And while we are still awaiting refinancing of our mortgage, we will declare very clear yes. that nothing oh, is too hard for God. Come on now. Yes, nothing is too hard for God. Again, we are a people of purpose. Yes. We are a people of faith. Uh -huh. But we also are people of confidence, <coughs> relying on the word of God. For in Jeremiah 32 and 27, God himself says, Behold, I am the Lord. Yeah. The God of all flesh. Yeah. Is anything too hard for me? Yeah. In Genesis 18 and 14, God says to Sarah, Is anything too hard for the Lord? <laughs> Luke 1 and 37, the angel Gabriel further testifies to Mary. For nothing will be impossible with God. Come on, man. And in Mark 10 and 27, when Jesus was educating his disciples about being able to enter the kingdom of God, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, it is impossible. Yes. Uh, but not with God. Yeah. Not with God. For all things are possible yes. with God. Yes, yes. yes. In Job 42 and 2, Job also says, when answer the Lord, I know that you can do all things. Yes, Lord. And that no purpose of yours can be thwarted right. or restrained. Won't he do it? Yes, yes. Did God do it? Yes. Didn't he part the Red Sea so that the Israelites could escape the Egyptians? <laughs> yes. Did he perform the miracle of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? who were saved from the fire and furnace? Didn't he keep Jonah in the belly of the fish until he was taken to his assigned destination by God? Yeah. And didn't he resurrect our Lord and living Savior, Jesus Christ, so that we can have life and have it more abundant? Yes, Lord. In our text, yes. we are told the prophet I did, known as the weeping prophet, because he cried tears of sadness. Uh -huh. No matter how hard he tried, 
the people would not listen. Jeremiah tried repeatedly to help the people of Israel, but there was a problem. In summary, when there's a lack of belief in God, there is a problem. When there's a lack of trust in God, there is a problem. A crisis will arise when trouble or danger or calamity will come and self-reliance fails. When there's a lack of faith in God, there is a problem. Delusion will convince you of your own self-righteousness. And that is when you entertain false beliefs, alternative facts, and have lost a sense of true reality and have embraced fake news. Jeremiah was given the task of delivering an unpopular, convicting message to Judah. One that caused him great mental anguish as well as making the spies in the eyes of the people. For God says that his truth sounds like foolishness to those who are lost. But to believers, it is the very words of God. What is the truth? Mm. Nothing, Nothing is too hard Come on now. for God. Yeah. All right. Jeremiah had an assignment. He was not popular, and as a result, he was not successful in his ministry. He preached year after year for 40 years, warning the people to stop their idolatrous ways. Simply put, believe in God and repent from sin. Believe in God and repent from sin. At the same time, God gave specific instructions to this prophet to purchase some land. He didn't understand why at the time, but he trusted God and kept praying. This land would later become the land promised to Abraham and the forefathers of the Israelites. In this text, we find this persistent prophet in prison, emotional respect, but still praying. He prayed out of rejection. He prayed out of depression. He prayed out of discouragement. Yet, he continued to trust God. Yes. Through it all, sure. after facing hardships, after being ridiculed, after being dismissed, he stood firm. Deacon on the call, Andre Crouch, once again. That's the reason I said that through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Let me tell you that through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend on His word. As Jeremiah prays, he reintroduces himself to our great and wonderful God. And just as Jeremiah prayed that. We are reminded today that we too need to do the same. So to refresh our confidence in God. I believe the text is here to teach us to remind us that nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too hard for God. Why? You may ask. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> First, God is still in control. Yes, yes. Jeremiah's prayer begins with, you have made the heavens and the earth. Yes. See, you may think you are in control, but you are. No. You may believe that no one else can control you, but you are. Oh, yes, God has given us oh, free will, but He still controls all that is around us. Yes. Our circumstances, yes. our situations. 
situation. Yes. Or even do you have just look around yourself? <laughs> have you recently gazed around and looked how beautiful and majestic the earth and the heavens are? <laughs> Let's be honest. The universe screams out and declares that God is the creator of the universe yes. each and every day. Yes. Yes. He is supreme. The Bible even reminds us in Job 13 and 4 when he says, Where were you? <laughs> Where I live? Yes. Yes. The earth's foundation. Yes. Yes. Tell me yes. if you understand. Yes. This rhetorical question serves to remind not only Job then, but us today of the limit, limitations of human understanding yes. and the vastness of God's Wisdom and power. Yes. It's meant to humble Job. It's meant to humble us so that we can realize the folly of trying to grasp the mysteries of the universe yes. with limited yes. knowledge. Yes. The theme of God's omniscience and omnipotence is central to this verse. By asking God where he was at the creation of the world, Lord is highlighting the fact that he alone has the understanding and wisdom to govern that's the right, universe. That's right, that's right. In other words, don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Even in 2024, God is saying, I am still sovereign. Yes, yes, yes. I still control all things and everything. Yes. God is saying to us today, don't you know I still can make a way out of no way? Come on, yes, I got this. Yes. This is not a time to panic. Yes. This is not a time to be concerned. And let me say parenthetically and with love. I don't care Come on, what God. you are facing today. Come on. It could be financial. It could be emotional. Yes. It could be relationship. It could be mental, it could be family. Charlie Granger, even as a church, a community of faith, I really don't care what we are facing right now. That's right. It could be our weak finance application. Yes. It could be the underground, it could be a final approval. Yes. It may be a roster of leases or just routine bills. I don't care. Because why? God, God control. is still in control. Come on now. For scripture verses tell us even more who God is. Yes. Yeah. The great I am. Yeah. He says, listen, I am. <laughs> I am who I am. That's right. Yeah. I am Alpha and Omega. Come on now. Yeah. I am God Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. I am He. I am He who comforts you. Come on yeah. now. I am
come on now. What does that mean? It means that whatever happens yeah. is either called or allowed by him yes. for his own perfect purposes. Yes. Isaiah 46 and 10 confirms, I have known the end from the beginning. Yeah. From ancient times, what is this still to come? Yeah. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I do. Nothing is Nothing. Too, hard. too hard for God. Yes. Not only is God still in control, yeah. but God is still powerful. Yes. Yes. Jeremiah in his prayer next says, by your great power. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah first recognizes that God is our creator, uh -huh. but then quickly declares that the creation is the result of his great power. Mm -hmm. His power is limitless yes, because he is omnipotent. Yes. Deacon Carolyn Lakes, how do we know that God is omnipotent? Because he told us yes. he is omnipotent. Yes. He said he is all right. Yes. He said he is divine. Yes. He said he is mighty. Yes. He is supreme. He is unlimited. He is unrestricted. Right now, right now, we need to be open. No, not by our issues. Overwhelmed? No, not by our concerns. Overwhelmed? No, not by our situation. But that God is able to do all that we ask or think yes. abundantly. Yes. Very now. God's power not only exceeds what we ask, yes. God's power exceeds what we think. Well. God's power exceeds what we can imagine yes. and what we can possibly dream. Consider all you and the people of God in every generation have come. Nothing we think is outside of God's ability. Now we are totally overwhelmed by such glorious omnipotence. We see that God is able to do all that we ask and think abundantly. But not only is God able to feed 5,000 with five loaves and two fish, he is able to do it in such an abundant way that there were 12 baskets of food left over. Not only is God able to give Abraham and Sarah children in their old age, he can multiply their offspring as the stars in the heaven yeah. and as the sand that graces our seashore. Yeah. Forgiveness of that, the pardon for sin is beyond measure. God's steadfast love endures forever. Yes. His power is never exhausted. AJ and Matthew, too often we may say God is abundantly able, uh, okay. but it's still inadequate, even to say that. Yes. It is too limiting to describe the power of an infinitely glorious God. So the Apostle Paul took it up another step. Not only is his power more, not only is it abundantly more, it is far more abundantly than all we ask and think. Yes. 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 The Bible says in Ephesians 3 and 4, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask and think, yeah. according to the power at work within us, Remember when we may have been sick? Didn't he heal us? Yeah. Remember all the haters that we have experienced? Yeah. Didn't God provide love? Yeah. Yes. Remember there may have been a time that we may have been homeless? Didn't he provide shelter? Yeah. Remember there have been wars and rumors of war, yeah. but yeah. has God intervened and provided peace? Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we have been weak? If we are honest, hasn't God provided us strong? Yes. Even with our mortgage, weak finance pending now, now. God is able to give us the power yes. to burn that same mortgage in the future. Yes. To God be the Lord. 
His power is beyond anything humanity can comprehend. Jeremiah recognized that God has the power to accomplish anything. Say anything. 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 Nothing is too high for God. Yes, God is still in control. God is still powerful. And God still reaches out. Jeremiah next to his prayer says, and your outstretched arm. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world. Come on now. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little in his hand, he's got the little time in In his hand, he's got the little time in In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you with me, bro. In his hand, he's got you with me, bro. In his hand, he's got you with me, bro. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got
fearful made fearless. When God speaks, all of creation stops and obeys. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is too hard for God. So continue to trust God. When it's not convenient, trust God. When it's opportunity, trust God. When you don't feel like it, trust God. When you do feel like it, trust God. When others don't believe, trust God. When you do believe, trust God. When you have trials and difficulties, trust God. When all is calm and doing well, trust God. When others say go another way, trust God. When you stay the course, trust God. When you see when you're at your lowest point, trust God. When you're at a heavenly high, trust God. When your money is burning, trust God. When blessings are back, trust God. When your family is in disarray, trust God. When there's unity and love, trust God. When our finance, weak finance is pending, trust God. When everything is approved, trust God. Know this. God is bigger than our biggest problem. God is higher than any mountain standing in our world. God is stronger than any thought of doubt. God is more powerful than all the trials that seek to keep us down. Nothing, I mean nothing, is too hard for God. As we approach our 10th year acquisition and 100 year structure and celebration, continue to trust God. Let's believe in God together and live our best life.